Hi there, I'm High Voice bringing you a technique to set manage breakpoints on a native process using a search. As we begin, a gentle reminder to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of new videos. This really helps me know the kinds of content to produce next. So let's get into it. This technique can be used for all CLR managed processes, especially c .net. We start by launching a managed process. I have included a link to the source code of the process in the description below. Select File, Launch Executable, then select the executable to launch. This executable we are debugging does not have anything particularly interesting. Rather, it was created as an example for attaching breakpoints. Once WinDebug has stopped at the initial breakpoint, press F5 to continue. Once the application is ready, break into WinDebug. Run dot load by SOS CLR followed by dot load SOSEX. Load by is the meta command to load a plugin using a reference path. In this case, the reference path is the directory in which the CLR is located. SOSEX is a plugin for WinDebug which you can download from this website. A link to download SOSEX is provided in the description below. Unzip SOSEX into a folder. Ensure you load the matching version of SOSEX, which is the 64-bit version for x64 and the 32-bit version for x86. Once loaded, run exclamation MX followed by the module and the symbol of the class. We can use a wildcard to make searching easier. Whilst it is possible to search for a symbol of a method, we will start the exercise by viewing a method table. Method tables are the data structure within the CLR that represents a class. The method table address is provided. Run exclamation dump mt minus md with the address of the method table. A list of methods will be provided. The list includes the address of the method, the name of the method, and if it is compiled. Find the method we would like to attach the breakpoint. View the field is jitted to see if the method has been compiled. If it has not, then set the breakpoint via exclamation bpmd minus md address. Press F5 to run the process. Let me click this button to trigger the breakpoint. When a breakpoint is hit, WinDebug will present the command bar. We can view local variables with exclamation MDV or the stack with exclamation MK. Run exclamation dump MD minus MT that we previously ran. Observe that this time the method is compiled. If we like to set a breakpoint on a compiled method, run exclamation dump md with the method address. Set the breakpoint using bp followed by the code address. We can view the list of breakpoints using bl or clear using bc. I went through the list of breakpoint commands in my previous setting breakpoints video. Do check it out if you would like a refresher on native breakpoints. Some methods are pre-compiled. This means that the method is always compiled and its address is always native. Managed breakpoints can also be scripted to execute commands. Run bp followed by exclamation mk1 semicolon g. This will output a single line of stack as though it's a trace point. A breakpoint can also be set on a specific exception. Run exclamation soe create 
system dot null reference exception. This sets a breakpoint when the exception is raised. Another technique would be to run SXE CLR, which sets a breakpoint on any CLR exception. Reset the exception list via SXR. One of the differences in manage breakpoints is that the command differs between compiled and non-compiled breakpoints. To set a breakpoint on the main of the application, you will need to set it before the main runs. At the initial breakpoint, run ld colon CLR. This will set the breakpoint on the module loading of the CLR. Press F5 two times to break when loading CLR JIT. At this point, you can run load by SOS CLR and load SOSX followed by BPMD. And there you have it, a simple technique to set a managed breakpoint. Let me know in the comments if you know this technique or have used it before. As always, if you like what you see and would like to support the channel, give us a like, subscribe and comment below. Until next time, I'm High Voice signing out.